So even though Apple says that their iPhone battery is non-removable, it's not technically true. You can remove it, it's just a little bit of a pain in the ass. But the reason you would want to do this and replace it with a new one is uh, sometimes after the phone gets to a certain age even, it'll just not hold a charge like it used to. Other times the battery will completely conk out and you just can't turn the phone on. So I figured I would make this video to show you how you can replace your battery in every detail, step by step, on your iPhone 5S. Okay, so first you need to get a replacement battery. Now you can find one on Amazon if you want, but the one I used in the video is actually one that I made after I got really frustrated with crappy batteries on Amazon. Uh, just not lasting long enough or not fitting right or not coming with the right tools. So I made a kit really quick to uh, have a battery that passed all the specifications that I knew it needed to pass. Plus I also made sure that it had all of the tools to get from point A to point B with the entire installation. So you can either click the link below to buy that kit from me or of course you can head to Amazon and get a kit yourself. Just make sure that it has some sort of guarantee and that it also comes with enough tools to get the job done. Either way the tutorial is going to be the same from here on out. First step is to remove the screen. So we're going to turn off the phone then we're gonna unscrew the two screws at the bottom of the phone and set them aside. Make sure to keep track of all of the screws in this process. I actually use a white piece of paper when I do this and I take all the screws and put them on it as well as all the parts that come out of the phone and make sure that the screws go next to the holes that they came out of because in some cases a lot of these screws are actually different sized. Once we have the screws removed, we're going to stick the included suction cup to the bottom part of the screen as low as you can without going over the home button. If you do go over the home button, it creates a small air pocket and then the suction cup just doesn't suction anymore. So you want to get it as close to the bottom of the screen so that you have some leverage with it without going over that home button. Once it's on, we're going to pull up on the suction cup and use one of the pry tools that came with the kit to create a small gap between the screen and the housing of the phone. Once you can get it in a little, you can rotate it and then wedge the rest of the screen up. Just make sure not to bend the screen back more than 90 degrees or you'll damage the cables that hold it to the motherboard. Now at this point, you can optionally remove the screen entirely by undoing the screws that hold down the metal plate that is over the cables connecting the screen to the motherboard. Then you could just pop off the connectors. Keep in mind where each connector goes and how to put it back because sometimes it can get a little confusing. Uh, I personally don't remove them at all uh, just to make this a lot faster. If you choose to remove it, you can. If you don't, just be careful not to bend the screen back any further than that 90 degrees. Okay, next we're going to remove the original battery. So we're going to disconnect the battery by removing the two screws and the metal plate where it is connected to the motherboard and then pop off the connector. Next comes the annoying and hard part. The battery is held down by some glue and we need to actually pry it up off of that glue. So you have a couple of options. You can either take a blow dryer to the back of the phone and warm it up a little so that the glue softens and it makes it easier to pry, or you can just go at it with the pry tool. Just be very careful and go very slowly. You do not want to bend or rip the battery or it will short and a little puff of smoke will come out. It's not a pleasant smell either. But if you are careful and take your time, you will eventually work that out entirely. Once it comes out, you can place the new battery in and connect that battery's connector to the motherboard like the original ones. Then you can replace the metal bracket and put the two screws to lock it back into place. After that, we can reattach the screen's cables and put the bracket back over it if you chose to remove it in the first place. Then we're gonna attach the home button's cable back to where it belongs. Then you can lower the screen down slowly. I start from the top and kind of just work my way down to the bottom on the edges until it fits in nice and snug. If you do feel some resistance when doing that, be careful because it might be that something underneath is actually offset and it's stopping it from able to go all the way down. If that's the case and you push too hard, you will crack the screen and that's not good. Once the screen is back in place and flush, you can screw the two pentalobe screws back into the bottom of the phone while holding the screen tightly and you're all set to go. There you go. Quick tutorial on how to replace your battery on your iPhone 5S just in case you needed it. And if you didn't and you made it this far into the video, thank you for watching anyway. Uh, and if you know someone else that might need this, please share it with them. Otherwise, keep it in your back pocket for when it might actually happen to you. If you like this video, though, 
please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. If you want more videos like this or some of the other content that I do, check out the channel at The Unlocker. Also, subscribe for more videos. And as always, thanks for watching.